I think as a human race, the thing that really makes us tick is this aspect of love. And love can be airy-fairy, but actually it goes down all the way to the atomic level of, you know, electrons and protons being attracted to one another. What's made, it's, what, it's what makes us tick. My aspiration every day is to say, how can we put more love out there into the world? How can we help people in the world? How can we promote integration, unity? There was this big, uh, explosion of projects in crypto industry and uh, there was a huge amounts of uh, interest even in South Africa and really South Africa didn't have uh, very many choices the customers in South Africa didn't have many choices as to where to go to access these new assets that are, that are that were coming up within six months of working at the bank I already had the idea that you know we should probably leave the banking sector and actually start to start a business in South Africa to provide the South African customers a choice. So I knew the, the founders from our previous jobs where we were all part of the same department. We were working together for almost two years. So as soon as the founders got going with Valor, they contacted me and said, can you join us? And yeah, within a few months I was there. I actually know the co-founders or have worked uh, with some of them before. Uh, we were working at a bank uh, quite a few years ago, worked on the same team uh, and uh, built some of those relationships. I made the switch in my head you know, between what, where is crypto going, like what is industry about and, and started to see the possibilities and the opportunities and, uh, and then decided to, to go all in. And there I met Fazam while in the same bank and Fazam was very big on he was he was doing road shows across the bank talking about bitcoin and blockchain and how the new financial system is going to be got me very interested in in the whole crypto space i knew exactly what their mission was and it was an easy sell for me to come join valor and so the three co-founders and myself decided to head out on our own to see if we could build something that would help progress humanity, help build a financial system that recognizes the oneness of the human race. So there's really a great lofty aspiration in what we're trying to do, which is to try to help the world progress. Ultimately, our focus is really on the customer. The co-founders were onboarding a whole bunch of customers one day uh, to launch and realized that they couldn't do it by themselves. Uh, and so I got a random call from Fazan at like 9 p.m. Um, and that led to me joining. We went from four people that we, we were to uh, five, six, seven in, in the next couple of months. And it took us about nine months to build the first version of Bala. So it was like a small little company. And of course we had a whole bunch of customers and people, if you had hands to help, it was encouraged that you just come and help regardless of which department you're in. Yeah, there was so much work to be done with such a small team. And yeah, everyone was really focused. And the biggest thing is just getting out the door, you know, getting live the first time. And I remember December 6th, 2018, that's when we actually launched our website. And we didn't know if anybody was gonna be coming to the website or not. And we had about a thousand signups that day. And the euphoria that we had was just, wow, somebody's interested, you know, somebody's signing up. We especially needed a logo that had a very prominent V as the as the app, the logo mark, so that we could use the V as the app icon going forward. And the little lines in the V are meant to show up and down trends as you often get to see in crypto. At the heart of everything that Valor does is to create products that we want people to love and tell their friends and family about products that are in the financial sector, products that allow people to access financial instruments that they don't have access to otherwise, as well as products that are easy to use and create financial freedom. Ultimately, our focus is really on the customer. Like, how can we serve them such that they feel that they are, they're getting the best service in the financial space possible? 
It's both incredibly exciting and challenging. Um, exciting in the sense that we're breaking new boundaries. We are doing stuff that people have never done before in the financial space. Um, we're doing stuff that companies haven't done before in the financial space, that the world hasn't done before in the financial space, which is awesome. We were one of the, the first crypto exchanges to become an accountable institution under the FICA Act. We did this three years before we needed to. Um, because we wanted to protect our customers from a KYC angle. It's a different financial system. It's an equal opportunity financial system. And I love the fact that you can have control over what you do with your funds in a more decentralized way. While we've done that from a service perspective, as a compliance team, we were able to ensure that the correct controls were put in place so that we can serve clients in an ethical manner and in a risk adverse manner as well and with a, an extremely secure platform. So we've been very involved with, with trying to create a regulatory framework that is that bolsters investment in South Africa but also protects customers um, adequately and, and makes South Africa a great place to do business for, for crypto firms. And so one of the main reasons we started Valor is to say, is this financial system good enough? Does it serve its purpose. So the world needs a system that recognizes that oneness of the universe. The world needs a system that safeguards the interests of all human beings, regardless of what type of book that they have that we call a passport, or whatever color that book is. It doesn't make a difference. Our mission is much higher than the success of Valor. Our mission is really the success and the promotion of the interests of our brothers and sisters around the world. But the challenges that uh, any crypto company is facing, uh, product-based company is facing, is, is customer experience and user experience. Uh, because most people think crypto is something very hard to understand. And my job, uh, along with my uh, team, is to figure out how to make these complicated products more accessible to customers. And I think Valor is such a nice bridge to bring them through to this new world that we're in. And I think that with the stuff that's coming down the line, we're going to allow even a starting point to be cheaper to do right now. I think we're focusing on pro customers and, and pro traders and really building out a platform that's not only uh, fantastic for retail customers, but something that other people can build on top of. There are products and possibilities that, that we might not even be able to conceive of, that other people can use Valor and build their own businesses and open up new opportunities just building on top of ours. First and foremost, we, we have been and are an exchange, but I think that not only is there potential to do more, but there's also an appetite. There's tons of features that I think are super exciting that are coming down the line. Things like staking, things like multi-chain um, deposits and withdrawals, which will make transaction fees you know, ridiculously cheaper uh, for our common user. All crypto users in South Africa got a better service, even those who are still with our competitors you know, are now paying lower fees. And um, you know, we've been able to stimulate the market uh, not just in our own business, but across all our competitors as well. And I'm looking forward that we'll do something similar in other markets as well. We also think a lot about the integrity of information. We're dealing with people's money. So security is a big thing. Uh, and just the ease of use of the product is also a huge focus for us. Valor is a very um, values-driven culture. The core of it is, is, is unity. So everything that works towards unity is most welcome. And we're just one big happy family. It's built on trust, it's built on honesty, openness. Um, everyone is respected and valued. There's such a connection between Valor itself as an organization, their aims and goals, and then how they use the people that are there kind of build that vision. We built such a fantastic product. Um, with, with amazing possibilities and, and, and we've got a passionate customer base in South Africa and imagine if we could take that to the rest of the world. Not only are we creating customer-centric products that are easy to use that you don't really need customer support <laughs> to actually use, but also if you do need customer support, we're always there. So we, we pride ourselves in creating that experience, not just in the product, but also from a customer experience point of view. I'm very excited to see how far Valor is going to grow and the crypto industry in South Africa and Africa as a whole. Um, we're expanding into different territories, so I'm very excited to see where that goes and how many customers we can bring on and how many customers we can serve um, with our product. I'm also very proud of the fact that we've been ambitious. So um, today we only operate in South Africa, or we mostly operate in South Africa, obviously. 
but that hasn't stopped us from thinking big and wanting to um, actually be a global player. Like we don't want to just serve a small subset of the world. Um, we really want to take Valor to the whole world if we can. I think we're very lucky to have the people that have joined us still be on this, on this journey with Valor. First and foremost, I'm really proud of my team, but at the end of the day, when we have the team, the right team in place, then we can achieve great things. And we have achieved, whatever we have achieved is because, uh, because of the team that we've built. The fact that we're here today, you know, the team that's about 80 people uh, large, and the fact that we have customers that are using our platform, we have millions of transactions every single day that use our technology. And so it's a great accomplishment from the perspective of, of building something that is useful to people. And, and the fact that we have customers that use us on a daily basis, tens of thousands of customers, uh, that's a great sense of honor for us to be able to serve them um, and to provide something that's useful to their lives.